We are excited today to be here with four individuals who have a great story to tell. We approach this group because they each represent the University of San Diego in different ways by way of CBRE as the gel to their affiliation, which just shows the power of connection and impact. First, we have John Frager, Executive Managing Director for CBRE. He is the regional leader for San Diego and North Baja, Mexico with nearly 300 real estate professionals. He is also responsible for Hawaii and acts as Chief of Staff for the Pacific Southwest Division. John is highly involved with many community and industry organizations, including serving on our University of San Diego Board of Trustees. Next, we have Chris Pascal, Senior Vice President at CBRE. He is recognized amongst his peers as Central San Diego's market leader by his impressive client list. Very involved in his community, serving on several boards, including the University of San Diego Burnham Moore's Center for Real Estate. A University of San Diego graduate and current Sports Banquet Committee member, Chris bleeds Terrero Blue. Next, we have Alicia Halden, associate at CBRE. She began her tenure in 2014 and has since become an associate of the Central San Diego leasing team of Chris Pascal and others. Prior to joining CBRE, Alicia earned her bachelor's degree from the University of San Diego while competing in Division I rowing. Upon graduation, our Scholar Athlete Development Office recruited her to volunteer and serve as a mentor in our mentor program, and the rest is history. Last, we have Lauren Fuller, Client Services Coordinator at CBRE. She started her new career upon graduating from the University of San Diego last May, while also completing her Division I volleyball career. Lauren connected with Alicia by way of par participating in the Mentorero program. As Lauren approached graduation, she certainly was faced with, what do I do next? She could have been faced with an identity crisis, which many scholar athletes are faced with. Alicia so happily connected with her, mentored her, introduced her to a job opening, and next thing you know, they are co-workers. Thanks to you four for being here today. One, one item to note is part of our focus surrounding our conversation today is one initiative which is supported by way of private financial support, the Mentorero Program. Our alumni mentoring program, Mentoreros, pairs current scholar with local Torero athlete alumni based on each student's career and industry preferences. Our alumni help guide their scholar athlete protégés by exposing them to careers through internships, job shadows, professional networking groups, conferences, and general advising. Several of our scholar athletes have been offered full-time employment as a direct result of the program. We will start with a few questions to the group. The first question we have for each one of you, can each of you share why the University of San Diego Athletics Department and what attracted you to either participate, volunteer, give back, and make an impact? Chris, we'll start with you. Thanks, Marcy. Um, so being born and raised a Catholic, philanthropy was taught in our home as something that you just did. Uh, giving back really wasn't an option um, you just did it. And because of my experience at USD being so important in my life, uh, it's been very, very easy for me to give back to the university um, and support and get involved there. Um, it's very natural for me as part of my upbringing and uh, my wife's as well as an 84 grad at USD. Um, I've learned over the years that name recognition is really important when you are promoting um, a cause, uh, no matter what it is. And um, at the university level, athletic excellence really helps uh, in promoting that university. So I asked myself, you know, is Alabama a better university than USD? There's no chance. Um, you know, is, is Gonzaga or Clemson, are they better than USD? Probably not. Um, Villanova, yeah, maybe. But, but all these schools, they have one common denominator. They both excel on playing fields, on courts and on other athletic endeavors. And so it became very apparent to me that to better promote the University of San Diego, 
the athletics department needs to raise the bar. So with that, um, you know, it was pretty easy for me to get involved in, in promoting USD athletics. You know, our school has been recognized for a lot of things. You know, we're the number one real estate school in the country. Uh, we've been voted the most beautiful campus in the United States of America. Our nursing school is nationally recognized. Our business school is the youngest business school in the top 50. Um, so lots of great things going on at the university. Um, we do excel in some sports, but we need to get better at that. And my involvement with the athletics department is why I do it, to help with that. Thank you, Chris. Alicia, if you would like to share next. Of course. Uh, my experience at USD and with the rowing program was amazing, and it still has a really profound impact on my life. And it wasn't until I became an alumni that – I really had a sense of how much it meant to me. Uh, and just being here in San Diego, it feels really good to be able to give back because I wanna make sure that, you know, every student athlete that comes across the program can have just as good of an experience as I can. So it's fun. John, we'll have you go next. Well, I have a long history there. My mom attended the school in the 50s. Um, I was married in Immaculata 30 years ago and then, uh, my mom had 11 grandchildren, and it was finally her 11th, the last one, uh, but she was able to get into USD, so I have a daughter that attends. And uh, I got to meet uh, President Harris about four years or so ago with this group we're in, and he knew my daughter played volleyball, and they were lined up to play USD, uh, I think it was three years ago, when Lauren was out there on the floor, and they destroyed him, uh, beat him in four games, and... Uh, President Harris did not gloat, but uh, he asked lots of good questions about the experience of being a parent with a student athlete and on scholarship. And from that, he asked me to serve on the board. Awesome, thank you, John. Okay, Lauren, you'll, you'll be next. Thanks, Marcy. I originally picked USD not only because of the fantastic volleyball program, but because of the commitment to its athletes and its excellence in academics. From my experience as a student athlete, the athletics department has done a fantastic job in helping, mentoring, and preparing students for life after graduation. I'm so grateful for the opportunities that the athletics department and my life as a student athlete has given me, which is why I feel called to give back and be a mentor in the Mentoreros program. By participating in this program, it eventually led to internships and career opportunities just based on the relationships I had built throughout my time with Mentoreros. I think every student athlete should be involved with this program as it will provide numerous opportunities to help you grow both in college and professionally.
Tonight. You play to win, you expect to win. It matters in the moment, it doesn't matter what's gonna happen at the very end. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Jack Cronin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 42nd annual Sports Banquet here for the University of San Diego. I've been here for 14 years. 14 years, my pleasure to serve as your radio and television voice. And those same 14 years, part of this event right here. It's one that celebrates the year that was, that looks ahead to the year to come celebrating our scholar athletes and thanking you, Torero Nation, for being an amazing part of what we do here, what our scholar athletes can accomplish. Now tonight, things are a little different. We're not all together in the Jenny Craig Pavilion. We're not together as a thousand strong or beyond, circumstances being what they are. We're doing tonight's events virtually. And let me be clear, the days of us being together are coming back quick. They will be here before you know it. We'll be together cheering on the University of San Diego. But that day is not today, and so today we celebrate in a virtual sense. That brings us together in a virtual way for 42 years to celebrate the sports banquet. Hundreds and hundreds of people have signed up to be part of our event. And think about that in an unprecedented time. To do that virtually is a tribute to you, Torero Nation, to you who supports this great program. And tonight, as we've done for 42 years, we we'll give away, as part of our drawdown game, a grand prize of $10,000 and much more along the way. And our number one thing we want to say is thank you for being a part of this. Our great partners tonight here from the Show Imaging Studios include our great development staff at the University of San Diego. Former USD head football coach Ron Carriger, who we'll hear from in just a bit, alongside our chief development officer Marcy Lanou and our coordinator of Scholar Athlete Developments, Greg Camarillo. As you can tell from the video, we're very proud of what our scholar athletes accomplished in the 2019-2020 season. They showed resiliency and grit through an interruption of their spring semester and also their spring season due to COVID-19. We came together in innovative ways as we transitioned to a virtual environment. But tonight, for the first time, we come together again as a USD athletics community to celebrate their accomplishments. In addition to celebrating this past season, we are here to raise the money needed to provide an extraordinary scholar athlete experience. Just before the start of the show, we did a count and we are up to $140,000 raised. Because of supporters like you, together we have made an incredible impact and these dollars will benefit our Torero Scholar Athlete Fund. Most of you may know, but those of you joining us for the first time this evening, the Torero Scholar Athlete Fund contributes to the overall educational experience 
offered to each of our 400 plus scholar athletes, including academic support facilities, travel and recruiting budgets, and scholar athlete welfare. In addition to the money raised thus far, we will also have a special announcement very shortly from our Director of Athletics, Bill McGillis. When it comes to the season, as short as it was, there was already some amazing accomplishments from our USD Scholar athletes. The Toreros in team sports notched 124 victories, second most in the WCC. You'll hear tonight from the highest Torero ever drafted in Major League Soccer, All-American Miguel Berry, the seventh overall pick from the Columbus Crew, and volleyball Grace Strolling, who's now on the collegiate national team. In football, Reed Sinnott is backing up Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. Michael Bandy, Dalton Kincaid, All-Americans, Dale Lindsay, PFL Coach of the Year, USD going to the playoffs for the fifth time in six seasons. You'll also hear from two other coaches who received those honors. Jen Petrie, an outright WCC championship in volleyball. Cindy Fisher, who took her team to the WCC championship and earned a spot in the NIT. Heck, even in baseball, they only played 16 games, and Jake Miller still threw a no-hitter in one of those. Before we get rolling, there's a few things I need you to know about tonight's event. It is sports banker tradition to have side bets, and we will not take that away from you. So we have our chat room. Uh, you guys have been very active before the show. I encourage you to keep that up. Use the chat room on the side of your screen um, to heckle your friends, to make those side bets, side bets maybe even just to touch base. Uh, that will be there for the entire hour. So go ahead, uh, brag when you're still on the board, make fun of those that are not as fortunate uh, and have already become losers. But also, there's the Donate Now link available in the description box below. If you're particularly, particularly inspired by our scholar athletes and want to have an even bigger impact, we'd love you to keep donating. Or if you just get tired of me and my bad jokes, feel free to donate a dollar to the Greg Camarillo Stop Telling Dad Joke Fund, and I will quit the bad jokes. Uh, so just so you know, that is available. Uh, it will be available for the entirety of the evening. As it is our tradition with the sports banquet, Monsignor Dan, Dan Dillabo will be giving our invocation for the night. For almost as long as we've held the sports banquet, I've stood here before you with an invitation to pray. Now, selfishly, I have to admit that I wasn't above asking God to let me win sometime. But who could have described the setting and background that we find ourselves tonight? The months of struggling with the COVID virus and the recent innocent deaths of George Floyd and others have opened to us another deep virus, that of racism and the destruction it causes, especially in our black communities. As we pray for healing tonight, we look to the gift of sport which over time has been one of the best avenues for breaking barriers, uniting people of all races, languages, nationalities, and backgrounds. Sport builds teamwork and respect for each other. And so my friends, let us pray. God of justice in your wisdom, you create all people in your image without exception. You also have given us the gift of sports to honor our bodies and strengthen our hearts and to teach us how to be one together. Through your goodness, open our eyes to see the dignity, beauty, and worth of every human being. Open our minds to understand that all your children are brothers and sisters in the same human family. Open our hearts to repent of racist attitudes, behaviors, and speech, which demean others. Open our ears to hear the cries of those wounded by discrimination and their passionate appeals for change. And we also ask you to protect us during this time of pandemic. Keep all of our USD family and friends safe as we look forward to another academic year. We pray especially for our athletes, our coaches, and our staff. Holy Spirit of God, we ask so much tonight, but we trust in your spirit, 
who breathes new breath into our hearts and communities so that one day we may establish the peace of the kingdom and have equality for all. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Monsignor, thank you very much. It's time now for us to start our drawdown contest. And again, the grand prize, $10,000 with many more prizes along the way. As we go along tonight, again, we are hosting this in a virtual sense. The numbers will be drawn randomly and they'll be recorded. And as we announce some of the prizes, those will be our winning numbers for the night. We'll also have a chance for our great Gold Club members. There'll be nine prizes specifically for them. And everyone else here, don't get discouraged if your number is pulled off the board. As usual, we'll have Constellation prizes as well. There'll be six of those for $100 each throughout the night. Let's introduce our amazing team for this evening's game. Dante Cardi is our Assistant Athletics Director for Marketing and Promotions. Troy Conyers is our Assistant Director for Development. Kelsey Dantu, former USD soccer star and development assistant. Linda Copa, who I call perhaps the most important parts of the entire organization. And of course, Ron Carriger, who joins us now as our Assistant Athletics Director for Developments. And we in Torero Nation know Coach Carriger six years as the head coach of the football team, three PFL championships coach. Thank you. Welcome back. Amazing to have you here back with us again. Thank you, Jack. It's a privilege to be back. I'm excited to be here, not only tonight, but to be part of this great development team as we do our best to provide the support for our student athletes so they can succeed on the playing field, in the classroom, and in the community. So I'm fired up to get this thing going and see who our winners are tonight. Absolutely. I mean, great, great people coming back to the University of San Diego. All right, so let's get it started. We're going to do our first number. Now, this is going to be one that's going to be off the board but it is a consolation drawing just because you're the first one out. So $100 up for grabs now, and Coach Carragher has our first winner. The first winner tonight of the consolation prize, number 102, John Finnernan. Congratulations, John. All right, so John's our first winner. He gets 100 bucks, and again, plenty of prizes, including the 10 grand throughout the night. We're giving away money. We've got your attention. That means it's time to hear a special message from our Director of Athletics, Bill McGillis. Thank you, Greg. I am very excited to be with you tonight, and I am so appreciative of every single one of you who continue to invest in the lives of our scholar athletes. Obviously, we are in the midst of an almost unimaginable time in so many ways. Hopefully, for the next hour, we can bring some joy your way. While we were not able to host the sports banquet on campus this spring, and we could not wine and dine you with a wonderful dinner, your favorite wine, a spectacular dessert, and a whole lot of shrimp as we normally do, I am thrilled that you are able to join us for our live show. While 2020 in America and around the world is a year we will not and should not soon forget, we're here to celebrate the extraordinary achievements of our scholar athletes and to raise the critical funds necessary to build and sustain a model Division I intercollegiate athletics program. The impact of each gift we receive at the sports banquet advances our vision of winning in the classroom, winning on the playing field, and winning in the community, and truly makes possible the dreams of our 400 plus scholar athletes. Speaking of winning, as Jack noted, while several of our playing seasons were cut short, it was nonetheless another sensational year for the Toreros. Big wins, trophies, and championships, but more importantly, the highest cumulative grade point average on record in USD history, as well as thousands of hours of community service contributed by Torero Scholar athletes. We are blessed to have an exceptional group of young women and young men and outstanding coaches representing our university every day. Among those special young women and men at USD are an amazing group of black scholar athletes who are understandably in pain and suffering. You should know that our administrative leadership team and our coaches will be working closely together with our students in the days, weeks, and months ahead to better support our black scholar athletes, to enhance their experience at USD, and to eradicate racism. We are called at USD to be the change makers, 
who confront humanity's urgent challenges, and that's what we will do. We must take action now. To that end, I'm especially proud to announce what can be a very powerful new fundraising tool tonight. We have created a new fund to support a broad spectrum of diversity initiatives in the athletics department that will enable us to better support our black scholar athletes and to effect positive change in our community. The Bernie Bickerstaff Diversity and Inclusion Fund honors the extraordinary legacy of one of the greatest Toreros of all time, a former Torero men's basketball player and team captain, the first black head coach at the University of San Diego, a USD and WCC Hall of Famer, and a man whose journey as an NBA head coach and executive is now in its 43rd year. Bernie Bickerstaff has made a lasting impact at USD and in every community in which he has served. We believe the Bernie Bickerstaff Diversity and Inclusion Fund will change lives. We believe it will help eradicate racism. And I ask you to make a gift tonight or in the days ahead to support this very, very important fundraising initiative. Now, while we are not together at the JCP, we do have a terrific program and tons of fun planned for this evening. In addition to hearing from our head coaches and scholar athletes, you can expect wonderful prizes, a secret surprise or two throughout the night, and of course, you may be the lucky Torero who walks away with $10,000. We are grateful for your generosity and we hope that you enjoy the 42nd Annual Sports Banquet. Thank you so much, have fun, and good luck. Many of us at home have been watching the movement and asking, how can we get more involved? How can we make an impact? Well, donating to the Diver Diversity and Inclusion Fund at USD is a great way to start making that impact, so we appreciate those who donate. Uh, but now it's time for our game. We're at the spot in the night for our first drawdown prize. Back to Jack. All right, Greg, thank you very much. Here we go. Our first rounds of prizes begins with an autographed baseball from Padre shortstop Fernando Tatis, donated by Rich Hill, our USD baseball head coach. And Coach Carragher has our winning number. That baseball is going to be worth a lot of money That's right. someday, Jack. Our winner of this baseball, number 68, Jeff Trueblood. Congratulations, Jeff. Great name. Love it. That's an excellent name. Okay, so that's our first of many winners here tonight. We're going to go right to our next one. And this is a season ticket package for two to all regular season ticketed athletic events for the University of San Diego. Jack, we have a, a winner who's won for the second time. When you purchase Gold Club, you get your name in the, in the, right. in the, the raffle multiple times. John Finnernan. Congratulations, number 49, John Finnernan. Excellent, John. Thank you for your Gold Club donation as well. Our third prize here tonight is a two-night stay at the Dana on Mission Bay. Includes a beach bag and plenty more from Bartell Hotels and Dana Irby. A two-night stay at the Dana. A familiar name at USD, number 127, John Prunty. Congratulations, awesome. John. There's a legacy, too, by the way, for our men's basketball program for John and his family. Congratulations on that and looking forward to November and the family continuing. All right, so now our fourth prize, golf gear and a round of golf at the farms for you and three people play with our USD men's golf coach, Chris Riley, followed by lunch at the club, our Ryder Cupper, and golf at the farms. Our winner, Jack, number 267, Paul Schrader. Congratulations, Paul Schrader. Paul, congratulations. On to our fifth prize. This is a round of golf for four, including carts at Loma Santa Fe Country Club. Chelsea Duff and Loma Santa Fe giving us our fifth prize of the night. Our fifth prize of the night goes to number 256, Casey Tibbetts. Congratulations, Casey. Casey, congratulations. As we continue on, plenty more prizes throughout the night. Here's Marcy Lanou. Tonight would not be possible without the generosity of so many of you. Again, as we move to a virtual format, these next individuals showed an incredible commitment to moving our event forward and encouraged us all along the way. They most certainly invested their time, talents, and treasure. We couldn't be more thankful and proud to have them involved in our 42nd Annual Sports Banquet Committee. 
I would like to recognize the following individuals. Branda Cook, Roger Barno, John Finneran, Brian Fogarty, Marianne Lynch, Roger Mannion, Ali McGrory, Lynn Morris, Jackson Mickey, Chris Pascal, John Rodi, and Andy Rogers. Thank you again for being rock stars. In addition to those special people, we had an outstanding response by several sponsors in which they contributed at very generous levels. We had two $10,000 sponsors, including MA Engineers and Show Imaging. We had five at the $7,500 level with the McGrory family, Michael Wall Engineering, Cox Communications, Rudolph and & Sletton, and Dempsey Construction. And we had three at the 5,000 level, including Level 10 Construction, Centex Glazing, and Raphael's Party Rentals. Thank you again to our generous sponsors and Sports Banquet Committee members. We will be forever grateful. I work in the academic support team, so I can tell you firsthand that your generosity is having a huge impact on our scholar athletes. And as many as you know, it's not easy to be a scholar athlete. You're pushed hard in the classroom, you're pushed hard in competition, but because of your donations, we're able to provide that individual support to our student athletes. And that's what USD is all about. It's that focus on each student as a person, that care for each student. The money raised tonight helps fund our tutoring program, academic counseling, career development programs like Mentoreros, which is a one-on-one -on -one alumni to scholar athlete mentoring program, and our big event, Torero Networking Night, where we fill the JCP with businesses, recruiters, our student athletes get dressed up in suit and ties to come have interviews, get jobs, get internships. Our goal is to make sure that each student is set up for success, not just on campus, but also for life after they graduate. So thank you for your donations. And with that, we'll go back to Jack for some more consolation fun. Okay, absolutely. So we are on to the consolation round once more here. And by the way, uh, as Marcy mentioned, great shout out to Show Imaging for having us here and allowing us to host this virtual event as an amazing sponsor tonight. So we thank them here in Vista. All right, so this is a consolation prize. This is one that won't be officially on the winner's side, but we'll get 100 bucks from some of the numbers that have already been eliminated. So, Coach Carragher, what do we got? Jack, this $100 winner, to the second $100 winner tonight, number 261, Monica Jones. Congratulations, Monica. All right, so you're not totally out all the time. Uh, Monica's back in as one of our consolation winners. All right, now, back to the prizes. This next winner is going to receive an autographed baseball from Trevor Hoffman. 2018 Major League Baseball Hall of Fame inductee includes a Padre backpack and an autographed baseball from Trevor Hoffman donated by Ron Fowler and the San Diego Padres coach. And the first pitcher to 500 saves, I believe. And the first pitcher to 600 saves. Our winner is number 87, Guy Carpino. Congratulations, Guy. Guy, thank you very much. Congratulations. Keeping it local with San Diego here. How about four tickets and four tailgate tickets? to the 2020 San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl. This year it's got the Pac-12 and the ACC. Mark Neville in the Holiday Bowl giving us our next winning number. And that was a dandy last year, USC-Iowa, great game. All right, winner is number 64, John Dolak. Congratulations, John. All right, John, well done. On to our next prize. This is a USD gear package and a year facilities pass. You can use that at the Sports Center, at the pool, at the tennis courts, at the McNamara Fitness Center, and the JCP. A year-long facilities pass, Coach Carragher. Our winner is number 195, Jerry Kirkland. Jerry, congratulations. We keep it rolling here with a donation from Andrew Rogers and Zach Knipe for the Kensington Brewing Company. A private brewery tour and tasting t-shirt and growler to go for 10 at the Kensington Brewing Company. Winner is number 144, Cheney Dowd. Congratulations, Cheney. Excellent. All right, and our next one in this particular round is a day in the life of a USD scholar athlete. You can join the player for a pregame meal, the locker room pep talk, and pregame talk there, as well as the sideline pass during the contest. Day in the life of USD, Coach. I thought this was a great prize, Jack, for people to get a real true yep. feel of what it's like for a student athlete. The winner is number 186, Dan Gramier. Congratulations, Dan. All right, we'll continue with our prizes throughout the night, but for now, Greg Camarillo. At this point of the night, at a regular sports banquet, you would be sitting down, having your wine, eating your lobster, and getting to hear from our student athletes. So I hope you got your wine on your own. I can't give you any lobster, but we can deliver the scholar athletes. So first up, 
Tanae Fayad is an outside hitter on our women's volleyball team. Tanae actually just completed her undergraduate degree and be, will be using her final season of eligibility to pursue a master's degree in leadership. Clearly, she's a great student, but she's also a WCC first team volleyball player. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanae Fayad. Hi, Toreros. My name is Tanae Fayad, checking in from beautiful British Columbia, Canada. And I want to take a second just to thank each and every one of you for being here today virtually. From wherever you call home, let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that despite all the chaos that has been occurring over the past few months, we are still able to be here together as a community of hardworking, special individuals. As many of you might already know, I am on the women's volleyball team here at USD. And this past season, we were grateful to have been able to win yet another West Coast Conference title. Our, our fifth championship in the last 10 years and 11th all time in program history. This was a special season for me as I was returning from two years of injury and I'm so grateful to have been able to share this title with my girls and the coaching staff. I can't emphasize enough how special my time has and continues to be here as a part of the program and I look forward to reaching new heights next season. One moment I will never forget is taking BYU to five sets on their home court and walking away winners. The first time that BYU had been defeated in the Fieldhouse since USD had beat, last beat them two years prior. It was truly a test of resilience and reminded me how there are very few things one can do in life to understand the feeling of adrenaline and overwhelming joy that comes in a tight, highly competitive match such as the one we endured that night. None of our accomplishments, however, would be possible without all of your continued support. And all of us Torero Scholar Athletes are able to continue working towards our goals of winning on the playing field, or in my case, on the court. On behalf of all Scholar Athletes and coaches, we thank you and enjoy the rest of the show. Let's go, Rose. Tanae Fayad, thank you very much. Her story is amazing. Uh, one, uh, perseverance, comeback, and it's been incredible. And she set an outright WCC championship for our great volleyball squad. We'll hear from Jen Petrie a little later on in the program. We're back to consolation prizes now. So Coach Carragher is back with us. This is one of the numbers that's already been pulled off the board, but is now back in the box and ready to go for consolation prize. The next $100 goes to number 85, Bill Plord. Congratulations, Bill. All right, so stay alive there because you still have a chance at some of these consolation prizes. Bill, congratulations. Back to the prize drawings. Golf for four with a cart at the Country Club of Rancho Bernardo. Number 199, Terry Tunnell. Congratulations, Terry. Terry, well done. How about a Mega Boom Remix 2 Power Up Wireless Bluetooth Speaker and Charging Dock donated by Jackson Mickey for our next prize. Number 164, Rick Hagen. Way to go, Rick. Rick, well done. Congratulations. We already gave away one of these. We got another chance at a package that includes some USD gear and a one-year pass for all the facilities, the USD Sports Center, the Pool and Tennis Courts, the McNamara Fitness Center in the JCP. Winner goes to number 188, Dwayne Sattler. Congrats, Dwayne. And the last prize in this round, how about this? An autographed football from Las Vegas Raiders quarterback Derek Carr. Boy, that's the first merchandise hey, coming off the shelves of the right. Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be worth a lot one day. <laughs> Our winner, Jack, is number 243, Doug Barnhart. Congratulations, Doug. Doug, well done. We are back with more prizes in just a bit, but here's Marcy Lanou. Of course, I'm happy to share more gratitude this evening. When we announced this event moving to a virtual format, we were very uncertain with what the response would be from our alumni, donors, and fans. We were quickly pleased by our conversations with many of you. Tonight, we would like to recognize our Gold Club members. Gold Club members made a $1,500 investment, dollar investment tonight and received three entries into the game and also received a customized USD baseball cap. Most of our Gold Club members you see on this list tonight have supported us for years and we appreciate their continued commitment during this virtual year. In addition to our Gold Club members, we have a special shout out to our alumni ambassadors who helped spread the word regarding this event. We spoke to each one of these individuals and they couldn't have volunteered fast enough. Their passion for USD runs deep and we are so thrilled to have them engaged. We have Amy Kame, Jackie Kimmel-Cheek, Kelly Holcine, Kevin Meisner, and Vince Moiso. Thank you again for your friendship and much needed help. I'm thrilled how our USD community has rallied together to support this great evening. And I would like to share, share several other areas in which our gifts will benefit Torero Athletics. 
the support to be nationally competitive in scheduling the appropriate opponents to position our teams for postseason play and the pursuit of winning championships. The ability to recruit and attract prospective scholar athletes to make our team strong, competitive, and contribute to the whole USD campus. Updating multiple facilities in which our scholar athletes and coaches would benefit from. And also scholar athlete welfare and supporting them throughout their time here at USD. Meeting their needs as they arise and offering other resources that would ensure the ability of enjoying a well-rounded college experience. You got to hear from one of our student athletes. We'll also make sure you get to hear from our head coaches. First up is a man that knows what being a Torero is all about. He played on our basketball team. He was an assistant coach on our basketball team. Now he is the head coach of our men's basketball team. Sam Scholl has had a huge impact on our program, including leading the team to our first ever NIT berth. He has reloaded the roster with talent for the upcoming season. Our team looks good, and Sam will tell us all about it. Good evening, Torero Nation, and thank you for attending tonight's 42nd Annual Sports Banquet. In times like these, we only get better by leaning on each other. With that said, on behalf of USD Athletics and our men's basketball program, thank you for all your unwavering support of the Toreros this year, this season, and the last three months. I, along with the nearly 100-person USD Athletics Department, are extremely excited to sit with you tonight from all over the country and world and see why USD is such a special place. I've been here a long time, from my time as a scholar athlete, to assistant coach, to my current role. And I always look back and appreciate all the memories that have been created and the people I have grown to know and love. We are all Toreros together, and every day I'm reminded of that. As you may or may not know, our men's basketball program has taken a big leap forward this off season. Trust me, the season we just had was one we are not happy with. It fell short of our expectations crafted before the season, and we'll only use it as fuel for a better 2020-21 season. We want to continue to raise and may maintain a higher standard for Torero basketball. We welcome a handful of new scholar athletes to our program, most of which have starting experience at their previous schools. Whether it's grad transfers Frankie Hughes or Josh Parrish at the guard and forward position, or a big man who can score in many different ways and Yavuz Gultekin, better known to us as Yeezy, we got a whole lot better in the last few weeks. Much of that is due to the hard work of our coaching staff and Jerry Brown and Martin Bahar, who never let the current circumstances stop their drive and persistence to find great Toreros for our basketball program. Phone calls, texts, FaceTiming, whatever it was, we were connecting with our current and prospective scholar athletes. I can't wait for next season to start and getting them all together and pushing forward and upward as a team. We have brought in great men, players, and leaders to our basketball program. These new guys will join a team that has tremendous foundation in seniors Braun Hartfield and Yalian Masalski, as well as other returners, Marion Humphrey, Joey Calcaterra, Finn Sullivan, Jared Rodriguez, Vladimir Pinchuk, and Mikhail Jurdy, men that have accomplished great things so far as Toreros and are driven for even better, bigger and better things in the years to come. How do I know the foundation of our program is strong? These guys care for each other. As one example, Yali Masalski flew to Houston so that he could drive halfway across the country to help new, newcomer Yeezy make the move from Texas A&M to San Diego a few weeks ago. Another example is former high school teammates Braun and Frankie have been working together on the court, practicing smart physical distancing, of course, but back in Cleveland while being away from San Diego. Good teams are in it for each other. We speak to each other only in ways to build connection. Our guys have shown that these, during these unprecedented times, and I could not be more proud to be on this journey with them. Our team will be on a daily mi mission of BEVO, best versions of ourselves. Our BEVO process starts with the best versions of ourselves as people. The state of our country and seeing the racial in injustices that are happening around us brought us together to listen, learn, internalize, and then make change. Change starts with ourselves, then our families, then our workplace or our team, then our community. We as, pro we as a program are working together to armor ourselves with the understanding needed to use the platforms each of us have to create change. These guys will not have it easy on the court next season as it starts as the season begins. 
whether it's several Pac-12 schools such as UCLA, Washington, or Washington State on our schedule, recent NCAA tournament teams, or of course the always challenging West Coast Conference, which has proven to be one of the top leagues in the country. And we as coaches will ensure they are ready for the challenge and meet the high Torero standard. Our mission at USD is simple, create the best scholar athlete experience for all Toreros. And that experience, whether it's men's basketball or any of our other 16 teams, starts with the support from you, Torero Nation, who is with us tonight. Everything you do makes our mission and its impact even greater for our over 400 scholar athletes. We hope you and your family stay well and healthy. We look forward to seeing you back on campus and inside the Jenny Carey Pavilion in the very near future. Thank you and go Toreros. Pop quiz for everyone at home who was listening carefully to what Coach Sol had to say. What are the two main ingredients for making a championship run in men's basketball? You're right, one guy named Squirrel, one guy named Yeezy, guaranteed championship. USD Volleyball, thank you for the comment and more dad jokes. Your wish was granted. We don't need any more of those. We need more winners. Back to Jack. All right, Greg, thank you very much. All right, here we go. Back to our consolation drawings. This is a $100 chance for those who have already been knocked out of the game. Once more, Coach Ron Carragher. This winner of $100, number 169, Howard Mills. Congratulations, Howard. All right, got to pay attention to the end here in case you get knocked out early. Right back in it for Howard Mills. Now on to the prizes. How about this? A $500 five-course meal for up to six people prepared and served by Chef Indo Reyes, donated by Chef Reyes and by Allison McGroy Reyes, class of 99. Boy, in this drawing, we must have just heard coaches <laughs> talk because number 42, Sam Scholl. Hey. Congrats, coach. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, so he's right after his video play? <laughs> All right, here we go. On to the uh, next prize is a $500 Nike gift certificate from USD Athletics. Who doesn't love that? That's Nike awesome. gear, awesome. The winner of this, number 247, Pat Wakeman. Congratulations, Pat. Pat, well done. And our next one in this round, a wine classic toast box, an original Grainmaster 44 millimeter black watch donated by Charles Bass and James Brennan. It's a beautiful watch. And we have our second, second winner, winner of the second tonight, number 257, Greg Tibbetts. All right. Congratulations, Greg. Well done. Again, these great Gold Club members, everybody involved here tonight, thank you very much. At every sports banquet, we like to tell about the time that Charles Bass won the, the prize that he actually donated to the sports banquet. So, Greg Tibbetts, I'm glad to see you won Charles' prize instead of Charles. We really like to brag that we have some of the best scholar athletes in the country, and this student was literally labeled that. All-American men's soccer player and academic All-American as well, Miguel Berry. Shortly after he finished his degree in finance, he was selected seventh overall in the MLS Super Draft by the Columbus Crew, which is tied for the highest MLS draft pick in school history. Our hometown hero from Poway, California, Miguel Berry. Hey, Toro Nation, Miguel Berry checking in from Columbus, Ohio. Thanks for joining us tonight, making this special event even more memorable. This past November, I completed my athletic career at USD, and in December, I officially became a graduate of this great university. Since then, I've been able to pursue my dream of playing professional soccer with the Columbus Crew here in the MLS. But looking back, I'll always value my finance degree as it will help me once my professional career has come to an end, hopefully with a few championships under my belt. I can't begin to describe the amount of memorable stories I have from both in the classroom and in study hall. It's actually surprising now looking back how much I actually enjoyed being in the classroom with my friends and my teammates and other fellow student athletes. Some of the best times in, in the university were actually spent in the classroom. I've actually started using my finance degree already here in, in Columbus, Ohio, even helping out my teammates with some of their portfolio advice, thanks to the great advice I received from professors here at USD. And with your continued support, we Torero Scholar Athletes are able to achieve a great level of success by winning in the classroom. On behalf of all of the Scholar Athletes and coaches, thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show, and go Toreros. Miguel has offered to use that finance degree to give financial advice to whoever wins that $10,000. So We'll make sure Miguel gets in contact with you. Clearly, he is a superstar, but he's just one of the amazing 2020 graduating class of scholar athletes, a class that included 71 total graduates, 60 that graduated in the spring. They came from 14 states, 10 different countries, studied 25 different majors. We had two academic All-Americans, Miguel you just met, 
and his teammate Henry Lander, and Alcala Award winner Claire Adams. Now this is incredibly impressive. The Alcala Award is the most prestigious honor given to a USD graduate. Claire was one of two recipients for the entire USD graduating class this year, and that includes all students, not just student athletes. Amazing work by Claire. And the graduating class had an average GPA. So great athletes, incredibly smart students. I uh, was very fortunate to be part of this 2020 graduating class, watching them grow, watching them win. I loved it. Um, but let's hear from some more coaches. Uh, our favorite guy, Jack Cronin, got a chance to virtually sit down with two of USD's best. The first was uh, USD women's basketball coach, head coach, and WCC coach of the year, Cindy Fisher. She just completed her 15th year as head coach, and it was one of the most exciting seasons I've ever seen. There were numerous fourth quarter buzzer beaters, late minute heroics. Unfortunately, the basketball season was canceled. The postseason was canceled, but this Torero squad was poised for a great postseason run to finish off an incredible year. We also get to hear from another coach of the year, this time the sixth time she's been awarded this. Going into her 22nd year at USD is our women's volleyball head coach, Jen Petrie. Coach Petrie has established herself as one of the best volleyball coaches in the nation. She's led the Toreros to 19, count them, 19 consecutive tournament appearances, appearances in the past 21 seasons. They say there's three guarantees in life, death, taxes, and Jen will be in the tournament. Well, as we continue our celebration here, our look ahead now for USD, we're joined by two of our Coach of the Year honorees, Cindy Fisher on the basketball side, Jen Petrie on the volleyball side. Guys, thank you for your time. Coach Fisher, let's start with you. It's been an incredible year, an unprecedented year for college sports. So you're right on the front lines of that. A run to the West Coast Conference Championship game, a future in the WNIT, and then immediately the shutdown happened. So what was that like for you guys? And how did the season, uh, when you talked to your team, and look back at that in March, what does that look like to you guys as we now try and move ahead? Well, honestly, it was, it was devastating. I think, uh, you know, to, to make your goals at the beginning of the year and to put that in paper and put it in writing uh, that, you know, we want to be a postseason team and we want to make it to a postseason tournament. And then especially for our seniors to, um, to work so hard and set those goals and then to actually achieve those goals and then all of a sudden, you know, to tell them, I'm sorry that this isn't going to happen this year. Um, it, you know, it was devastating to our team, but, you know, I think everyone understood. I mean, that, you know, obviously this was a, a major event that, you know, there wasn't anything that we could do about it. But I think even to this day, you know, I just met with one of our seniors who left to go play professionally, Patty Brosman. And, um, you know, there's still so many uh, tears and emotion and just is so hard to understand. I mean, let alone not having graduation and not having those things that they had just worked so hard for. Um, it was pretty devastating. Yeah, and you know, you you do have those goals. You are a postseason team. Uh, you are a team that made a run to a championship game. There, those goals are right there. It's unfortunate that the postseason wasn't there. But now, as you look ahead to the upcoming year, to 2020 and 2021, for many out there, I think just in their everyday lives, and obviously us in athletics, uh, it has to be a renewed sense of optimism uh, that we get back and get back and going. Absolutely. You know, I, right now we just want to get back together. We want to, you know, get on the court together. We want to have that opportunity to for sure have a season and do whatever that takes for everybody to stay healthy and, and to make sure that we actually have a season next year. And I know that our upcoming seniors, you know, Jordan and Maya and, and Sid Hunter, they're, you know, just so uh, hungry and, you know, they want to get back to where we were and even further. So I think there's just a lot of excitement and um, energy to get back together and to get our team back together and then to start a new year. And for you, Coach Petri, now, you know, for you guys, it's a different scenario. You have seen this unfold, and now you're trying to look ahead to the upcoming year, which is very, very quickly approaching for us. When you look at what the rest of the sports have to deal with, how do you translate that to volleyball, and what's the offseason been like? Yeah, the uncertainty has been really difficult, and trying to navigate training this past spring and keep them together and focused and motivated um, it's been a challenge and I can't tell you how proud I am of this team and how hard they've worked this past spring. Um, you know, together 
um, up until March and then apart. And we really didn't skip a beat this spring. They came together in their mindset training and our goals and our video work. And um, we just, I think that this is gonna be a unique team that's come together and grown a lot through this experience. It was an outright WCC championship for you in 2019. Uh, let's have a preview now as we look to 2020 and get back on the court. Uh, what are you looking for in 2020 here? I'm so excited for this season. We are chomping at the bit because when we, um, our last practice of this spring, we looked so good, Jack. We looked so good. And we have all of the returning pieces of this puzzle that we need to make another championship run this year and to go deeper than ever. Um, we, we're we're solid. We have 10 returners that were here this spring that are eager to come back this summer, and we can't wait to get on the court, hopefully in August. All right, so tonight, as the Torero Nation, our fans come together tonight, Coach Petri, what does this event mean to you uh, as we celebrate you guys and then look ahead? What does tonight's event mean to you? This event uh, just shows us how much support that our USD Athletics program has from not only you know, staff and our administration, but the people out there that follow us and contribute to the su success that we've had. I know that my program has benefited greatly from those that are here today, those that have been here in the past, and um, certainly those that continue to support us in the future. And Coach Fisher, as we wrap this up here, and again, looking ahead uh, to this coming season, which it'll be November before we know it here, uh, again, for this event, for you guys to look ahead, what does tonight's and Terrell Nation mean to you? Well, the same, absolutely. I mean, we appreciate the support so much. We appreciate everybody who's been involved in this. I mean, you know, just, it's tough to put it on Zoom. It's tough to put it on YouTube and, and to have it virtually, but just to have the support of everyone that still wants to be a part of us and how much this absolutely means to our athletic department and to all of our programs. And, you know, for Marcy Lanou and, and uh, you know, and Bill McGillis to continue to work to put this on and, you know, and just to say thank you more than anything, just to say thank you for your support and thank you for all that you do to um, continue to support Torero Nation and, and 2021 is going to be a great year, and we really look forward to it. Amazing optimism heading into 2020, 2021. Uh, two of our Coach of the Year honorees here at the University of San Diego, Cindy Fisher, Jen Petrie. Thank you both for your time, continued success. Congratulations, and a huge future ahead of us. Thank you both very much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Jack. Well, two great members of our USD Athletic Department there, great ambassadors for the University of San Diego. Before we get going here with the prizes, one more quick consolation drawing for us here. A quick $100 consolation drawing from Coach Carrick. Consolation winner, number 197. Carol Petrus. All right. Congratulations, Carol. Carol, all right. So that is a quick consolation now. See, the background's changed. We're moving on to the Gold Club drawings. So here are Greg and Marcy. Marcy and I are going to pull Gold Club winners for tonight. Marcy, our first prize. I'm so excited, Greg. Okay, the first prize we have is an autographed baseball by USD alum and Chicago Cubs third baseman, Chris Bryant, and donated by Chris Bryant. And the first Gold Club prize winner is number 228, Jeff Wishmeyer. Congratulations, Jeff. Congratulations, Jeff. Marcy, this background makes me feel like I'm on American Idol, so I'll uh, save my solo performance for the end of the night. More importantly, Gold Club drawing number two, $500 cold hard cash. Got to love that. Donated by USD Athletics. And the winner is number 23, Charles Bass. Congratulations, Charles. Awesome. There he goes. He wins his prize for the evening. Okay, next Gold Club drawing, we have travel with the men's basketball team to Gonzaga for this upcoming season in 2021. Watch the USD men's basketball team play at Gonzaga. It includes flight, hotel, and game tickets for two. And donated by USD Athletics. And our winner is number 179, Michael Akavan. Congratulations, Michael. All right, Gold Club drawing number four. This is lunch for two people at the University Club atop the Symphony Towers and a certificate for a reduced initiation fee to gain membership into the private University Business and Dining Club, donated by the University Club. 
Our winner is number 36, John Rodi. Congratulations, awesome. John. Awesome, John Rodi. Congratulations. Next prize. Okay, this is a fun one. Build two of your own 24 pack case of 16 ounce Tarantula Hill Brewing Company. We will build it, pack it up, and ship it right to your door. Mix and match any four packs of your choice. You can create a variety pack with six different packs or do a whole case of one variety. This was donated by Allie McGrory, who's also a Sports Banquet Committee member. Thank you, Allie. And let's see who the winner is. Okay, the winner is number 254, Casey Tibbetts. Congratulations, Casey. Gave away beer. Now we're giving away cash. I think I need to get into the Gold Club next year. Uh, this is $500 cash donated by USD Athletics. The winner is number 116, John Prunty. Congratulations, John. Hey, John Prunty, glad you're tuning in. Okay, next prize. This may be my favorite one, Greg, okay? It's San Francisco 49ers football autographed by the very, very, very good looking quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. This was donated by Adam Peters, Director of Player Personnel. Let me see. Okay, the winner that we have here is number 37, Chris Pascal, another Sports Banquet Committee member. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chris. We'll have to throw in an 8x10 next to the ball so you <laughs> yeah. can see Jimmy G's face with the ball. Uh, two more left. Prize drawing number eight. Copley Estate Happy Days residents spend two consecutive nights in a 7,500 square foot. That is a certified mansion. Five bedroom, five bath, Copley Estate in Borrego Springs. This estate is located adjacent to the Casa del Zorro Resort and Spa, donated by the McGroy family, Mark O'Connor, and the Copley Estate. And our winner is number 34, Marianne Lynch. Congratulations, Marianne. Okay, and our last Gold Club drawing we have, and I actually have family in this area, so it's beautiful. It's Escape to the Cape. Enjoy a five-day, four-night stay at this family-friendly home located in South Yarmouth, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Across the street from the Bass River and only a few minutes drive to the iconic Cape Cod beaches. The home can comfortably sleep three families with two of the five bedrooms designated for kids. This also includes a 500 Alaska gift certificate. The home is donated by the McGrory family. And the winner we have is number 203. This is awesome, Deborah Kelly. Deborah, you have to bring me along on this trip. Would love to join you and Bob. Congratulations to the Gold Club winners. Congratulations to Deborah as well. She yes. is a professor on campus and is on the sideline of every single volleyball and basketball game that I've been to, and I'm assuming so many more events as well. Deb, you are awesome. Uh, before we get to our big winner, we need to hear from one more student athlete. Maya Pace, a guard on our women's basketball team. She just completed her junior year. She's majoring in architecture, and she was a WCC first team player. She is a great leader for us, not just on the court, but also on campus, Maya Pace. Hey Toronto Nation, it's Maya Pace checking in from Seattle, Washington. We're happy you're able to join us this evening and make this always special event even more so this year given all the circumstances. As you know, I'm a member of the women's basketball team and an architecture major, but my involvement on USD's campus goes far beyond the classroom and the court. I am not only a member of the basketball team, but I am a member of the Black Student Union and the National Society of Black Engineers on USD's campus. Engaging with my community, campus community has helped me to connect with so many cool people that share some of my same interests and goals. My involvement on campus has made my USD experience even more fulfilling and enjoyable. With your continued support, all of us Sorero Scholar athletes are able to achieve tremendous success winning in the community. So on behalf of all of us, thank you. Have a great rest of the evening and go Toreros. Thank you, Maya. I made a mistake a few moments ago. The winner was Charles Bass, who is number 22. I mistakenly said number 23, but it is 22, Charles Bass. Sorry for the confusion. Charles, you're still the winner. Thank you, Greg. I'm so impressed by our scholar athletes and Tanae, Miguel, and Maya, plus all those back at home. Certainly our coaches and of course the staff that we are alongside tonight, both physically and virtually. A special thank you to our team here that worked so hard behind the scenes to put this event on. And Linda, Kelsey, Ron, Troy, Chris, Dante, Jack, and Greg. Thank you from myself and Torero Nation. And as for you, our viewers at home, the real MVPs of the night, 
We couldn't be more pleased to have celebrated with you this evening. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now we're entering into the final stretch of the evening. Greg? We'll pass this one again to Jack. We'll give us our sixth and final consolation prize. Uh, so again, it's getting down to the end here. Consolation prize drawing right now from Coach Carragher. $100 for somebody who was knocked out of the game, but is right back in. This winner, number 35, consolation prize, Brian Fogarty. Congratulations, <laughs> right. Brian. And hey, I just want to say something. Brian was like a mentor when I was a first-time head coach, and then I called him before taking this job, as he did an outstanding job and has done a lot for this university. So congratulations, Brian. Think about it. That's a pretty good legacy right there for Brian Fogarty and Ron Carriker and the <laughs> jobs that they have had. Uh, very lucky to have both of them around. All right, here we go. We got four prizes left. There are four numbers remaining in the bin. Here we go. A basketball VIP package to our next winner. Three of the biggest games of the season, floor seats against BYU, Gonzaga, and St. Mary's and all the pre, post, and halftime festivities for these three contests. Jack, this goes to the boss of all of us, number 252, Bill McGillis. Oh Congratulations, gonna, Bill. I'm pretty sure he's already sitting. <laughs> uh, all right, but then somebody else could get that from Bill if he, uh, if he so chooses. All right, we got three left. We got three left here. This next one is awesome. $800 from Alaska Airlines, a travel gift certificate to our next winner. You can go a lot of places with $800. The winner is number 101, Bill Plord. Congrats, Bill. All right, Bill, well done. All right, so, Coach, we got two of these left here. We got two prizes left. That's it. So here's how it's going to work. The next number that Coach Carragher calls for us here is going to take home a two-night stay in a deluxe poolside king room at La Casa del Zorro Resort and Spa in Borrego Springs, donated by Patrick Sam Sampson. So, Coach, oh. this is, I mean, we got. Are we ready it. for this? We got two left. It's big time. Okay. It's two two this, left. This winner, number 225, goes to John Hall. Congratulations, John. Awesome. And, John, congratulations. That means our final last number standing for the $10,000. Goes to number 184, Vince Luna. Congratulations, awesome. Vince. Woo! Awesome. Nice Woo! going, Vince. Congratulations to everybody here. Thank you for playing tonight. Thank you for supporting USD Athletics. Congratulations to Vincent Luna and to everybody who played here tonight. It'll be September 5th before you know it for football and everybody else getting back to action. Thank you to Show Imaging, everybody having us here tonight from the University of San Diego in our 42nd annual sports banquet. Thank you very, very much.